Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the headquarters temple. I be grateful for being here. <clears throat> Greetings, everyone. Welcome again. This is First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ, where the leader, teacher, and guide is Apostle Pastor Gino Jennings. Truly want to give God thanks for all that he's continued to do for me and my family's life. I made it another day to be in the land of the living. I want to give double honor to the former prophets and apostles of old, double honor to our current day leader, teacher, and guide, Apostle Pastor Gino Jennings, giving God thanks for the faithful ministering brethren who labor in the vineyard of holiness with the man of God, and of course, giving thanks for the different auxiliaries and the cooperation that they instill. <coughs> um, <coughs> praise and testimony is going to begin before we get in it, I just wanted to give a, a short testimony from myself. Uh, we were making our way up here from Canada, uh, just like every other convocation. And uh, we were 36 minutes away from Philly. And then, you know, I heard like a big boom, boom in the car. Stop it, pull it over on the highway, and I'm looking under. I don't see nothing. So we pull out, and uh, somewhere like Norristown, like Plymouth Meeting, something like that. And we get to the first mechanic. He's looking, and he says, oh, looks like some rust. You're good to go. But he didn't look confident. So we went to a second mechanic down the street and he got his technician, took a flashlight and everything and started looking and looking. He said, we found a problem. He said, your, your, dry shaft, your drive shaft is broke. He said, good thing that you stopped because if you kept on driving, it would have kept hitting the gas tank. And if it would have hit the gas tank, it would have caused a leak, which would eventually have caused a spark. And the car could have just got on fire. So I give God thanks because it, 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 I, give God th I give God thanks for, you know, being humble enough to stop, you know, because I'm born in Canada, but sometimes I have that island hardheadedness in me. So I could have just kept going and take the risk, but I give God thanks because it could have been a lot worse. And brothers and sisters, as I was here, you know, I was discouraged. You know, I'm just like, what's going on, God? How is this happening to me? Because when you convert the USD to CAD... It's a whole other story, and the, the cost of it, it came to over 2,000-something CAD to fix it. But despite me being discouraged, it's like the messages, it just kept on hitting me from left and right, from Thursday, from Friday, and of course that message yesterday, Saturday, and I'm waiting for the message today, Sunday. And I give God thanks because even though you're coming and problems were there, there's a perfect peace that only God can give, because I wasn't worried. Because I know God has got me. And we're still here, still in the land of the living. And still, we're going to be able to make it back home safe and sound because they did fix the car good. So keep me and my family in prayer, brothers and sisters, as I do the same for you. Before we get into the praise and testimony, just to repeat, it's a gray van, Texas plate, 8B7851E. If you do not remove your car by 1 o'clock, 1 p.m., the car will be gone. I repeat, it's a gray van, license plate 8B7851E. If you do not remove your car by 1 p.m. in front of the house, it will be gone. Now, this is the part of praise and testimony. If you have a song to sing after you're chosen, start singing as it's going to help the mic brothers know whether to bring you a mic. If you're going to testify... Testify unto the goodness of God. This is to give God the glory and to give him the praise. Consider the others around you so that way, you know, you're not taking five to ten minutes or 15 minutes for your testimony. I don't want to have to cut anyone off. So please, get up, uh, give reverence, testify, sit down. Get up, sing to the glory of God, move, move, sit down. All right? 
So now if you want to testify or sing, you could please stand. To me, and my daughter been telling me. I've been telling Elijah. I, took me four to three minutes to hear it. I couldn't understand it, but I said, "Lord, what can I do?" She said, "You ought to take it to the doctor and have a hearing aid." And I said, "All right." But the man, the pastor, had to pray for me yesterday, and he said. He nodded my head first, then he nodded my ear. He said, you will never have to have a hearing aid no more in your life. And I've been listening real low down from 43 down to 11. And I'm so happy now that I can hear just as good as you. I pray my strength and Lord. Because I have the Holy Ghost baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Running for my life, thanking you for your prayers, how you hold me on down through the years with my son, Pastor Dennis. Please continue to pray for me. Each and every day is wonderful to sing his praises all 
along the way is wonderful to really serve him your every need help me it's wonderful to trust in jesus he's mighty sweet let us walk with jesus each and every day talk with jesus all along the way trust in jesus he'll make your joys complete wonderful 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 he's mighty sweet let us walk with jesus each and every day talk with jesus all along the way trust in jesus he'll make your joys complete wonderful 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 he's mighty sweet you know that our time is short very soon the Lord he will return will you be punished or get your reward there'll be no more time to make it right when the Lord shall crack the sky so keep your hand in his hand and be Brothers and sisters. Greetings. I want to give the highest honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. 
and I want to honor the private and Kids in the back. We're gonna do them last night. to be in your presence. Oh, my God, fill me with your spirit. Father, I'm hungry for you. I'm waiting, Lord. I need you to fill me with your spirit. Wherever I'm lacking, Lord, Help me to come up to your word so I can reach where I need to be to be filled with you. I want to be filled with you, oh God. I want to be filled with you, my king, my king. I want to be filled with you. From my head to my toe, I want to be filled with you until I overflow. Oh, my God, to you be all the glory. 
Oh my God, there is no one like you. Oh my God, I long to be in your presence. Oh my God, fill me with your spirit. Ascribing greatness to our God, there's none like you. Lord, you are the rock on which I stand. Lord, all your ways are perfect and all your ways are right. I know I don't deserve it, but you are a God that cannot lie. You are my rock. You are my rock. Whoa, you are my rock, my rock, my rock, my rock. You are my rock. Whoa, oh my God, to you be all the glory. Oh my God, there is no one like you. Oh, my God. Me, myself, and my wife boarded our flight to come to this council, Holy Convocation from Sydney. Our flight was stopped on the tarmac about to leave. And they announced we have to go back and refuel. I couldn't believe it. They loaded the passengers with the plane with no fuel in it. So we have to reverse the flip plane right back to where we boarded and waited for two hours. And after the refueling, we're about to leave again. They announce it might be longer. Okay, Lord, what is it this time? And then we found out that the landing gear is not working. And I said to my wife, did we really board it the right plane? Or are we on the wrong flight? And only to find out it was American Airlines. So I said to my wife, the next time, Let's book an Australian flight, Qantas, so we can make it to the Holy Convocation. But by God's mercy, they managed to fix it, and we flew in the air 14 hours to get to L.A. At the same time, I was deep in prayer that the landing gear will work when we get into L.A. Praise the Lord. And as soon as they announced we're getting close, Lord Jesus, please let those wheels come out. <laughs> Praise the Lord, because you can't fix anything in the air. And we made it, brothers and sisters, and I'm thankful to God to be in this holy convocation. Now I know. That's why our airline was being trying with some interference, because there was some Holy Ghost service happening, about to happen yesterday. <laughs> And this weekend, I'm so blessed to be here, brothers and sisters, to have service with you all. Pray God for my strength and my family. Bless you.
body looked and took up his old clothes, he rubbed it, he rubbed it off the nose in pain and burning. Hallelujah! Two and a half weeks, they had to stop the radiation, and so I can heal, so I can start again. Went through that, then the cancer spread to my brains. Wow. Took me to stage yeah. four. There were five tumors in my head. Wow. I couldn't, I wasn't able to drive, I wasn't able to be in a building. I couldn't say noise. I don't know which one hurt more, the pain in my head or my pain from birth, because it was that bad. Um, a fear got over me when they told me I have to receive radiation to my brain, because I'm like, if the radiation did this to my body, what is it going to do to my brain? You know, but I thank God he was able. I went through that, I had to start back on chemo. Last year at Greensboro, I went up for prayer, pastor prayed for me, and the Lord went to work. <laughs>
need your power. We need your power. 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 Canada needs your power. Jamaica needs your power. U.S. needs your power. India needs your power. UK needs your power. Trinidad needs your power. Everybody power. Oh, we need your power. 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 sister in the green, little sister in the green right here. Time for one more. Oh, the Lord God is omnipotent, 
One more. Bear with me, brothers. I'm trying to get those that came from a very long way. Uh, so the last will be my brother right there. The bald one. Yeah. Green mic. Green mic. Yes, yes. Mighty long way, Lord. Mighty long way. Mighty long way, Lord. A mighty long way. A mighty long way, Lord. Mighty long way. Look where you brought me from. Mighty long way. Oh, yes. A mighty long way, Lord. Mighty long way. A mighty long way. Mighty long 
and testimony you know I'm not sorry for sweating so much when I give God praise I act like nobody's here because it's just between me and him thank you all for sharing your testimony and giving a praise unto the Lord that will conclude our praise and testimony service thank you very much once again we will hand the service to brother Mark Moretti Greetings, brothers and sisters. Welcome to First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. We are still celebrating the 28th International Holy Youth Convocation, the 35th telecast, and the 26th radio anniversary. We're also still celebrating 40 years of leadership. Want to continue to keep Pastor Jennings in your prayers, as well as his family. Want to pray for the brothers that minister along with them and their families. Want to continue to pray for the sick and the shut-in. The youth department, as always, we want to pray for one another. We thank God much again for the services that took place last night. God Almighty truly visited his people last night. Thank God we had several people receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That is a blessing. God is still in the Holy Ghost giving business. Amen. God can still feel more today as well. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Next announcement. It says, greetings, brothers and sisters, to all the auxiliaries, volunteers, and everyone who came out to support and participate in our seminars and activities. Your First Church Youth Captains would like to say thank you for all your hard work and for celebrating with us. Your unwavering dedication and commitment has truly made this event a success. For any questions and information concerning future events, 
You can visit our youth events page or email the youth captains at youth underscore captains at F-C-O-O-L-J-C dot com. It says, God bless and peace be unto you all, your first church youth captains. Next announcement, this comes from the culinary team. Um, there will be dinners that will, it will be free dinners that will be served in the lower gymnasium after the service. They're also asking that all registered buses can pick up platters on the gym, on the third floor of the gym. Please send brothers to pick them up. Next announcement, just want to let you know about Canada. Um, their second holy convocation is uh, fast approaching. That will be June 14th through the 16th at Operating Engineers Banquet Hall Conference Center. That's 2245 Spears Road, Oakville, Ontario, Canada, L6L6X8. Again, that will take place June 14th, beginning at 7 p.m. The next announcement, it says, uh, greetings, brothers and sisters. Airport pickup and drop off from headquarters. The First Church shuttle service operates from headquarters to the following. Philadelphia Airport, train and bus stations. Please plan accordingly. Uh, it says 3 p.m. from headquarters to Philadelphia Airport, train and bus stations. Monday, April 1st, pickups from the following hotels. Courtyard, Hilton, Homewood Suites, and Residence Inn. 4.30 a.m. from all listed hotels to Philadelphia Airport, train and bus stations. Uh, 9 a.m from all listed hotels to Philadelphia Airport, train and bus stations. 12 p.m. from all listed hotels to the Philadelphia Airport, train and bus stations. Uh, that's Amtrak, Megabus, and Greyhound. For the Delta Hotel, please utilize the hotel shuttle service for your airport drop-off. Thank you, this comes from the transportation team. And uh, the last one from the transportation team, it says, greetings for those returning to the hotels. Please meet in the gymnasium immediately after the service and remain until the vehicle is ready. For the visiting buses, the pickup location is on 5th Street. And it says, thank you. Also, the, uh, the, um, for the Washington, D.C., it says, uh, Pastor Jennings is starting a new temporary location for First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ, welcoming all the saints of Washington, D.C., and surrounding areas. So this temporary location will be at the Apostolic Faith Church of Jesus Christ, the Lord. That's 5305 Akeko Keek Road, and that's Brandywine, Maryland. Again, uh, the Apostolic Faith Church of Jesus Christ, the Lord. That's 5305 Akeko Keek Road. I pray I'm saying that right. Yeah. And uh, that's Brandywine, Maryland. After what? Echo Keek. There you go. Thank you, brother. Uh, amen. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And the next announcement, <laughs> the next announcement, this is a two-week report of the baptisms. 37 in headquarters, uh, 29 so far during this, holy con this youth convocation. We have 14 in Bronx, New York, two in New Brunswick, New Jersey, three in Delmar, Delaware, 10 in Baltimore, Maryland, 116 in Richmond, Virginia, two in, two in Charleston, South Carolina, two in Florence, South Carolina, eight in Columbia, South Carolina, two in Raleigh, North Carolina, one in Rocky Mount, North Carolina, one in Augusta, Georgia, one in Valdosta, Georgia, 23 in Atlanta, Georgia, eight in Miami, Florida, 24 in Orlando, Florida, three in Tallahassee, Florida, 35 in Cleveland, Ohio, 10 in Lafayette, Louisiana, three in Minneapolis, Minnesota, four in Portland, Oregon, one in Frederick, Washington, 12 in North Chicago, four in Detroit, Michigan, two in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, nine in Houston, Texas, six in San Antonio, Texas, seven in Dallas, Texas, 14 in Los Angeles, California, international, two in Birmingham, England, six in Canada, one in Dubai, four in Kissy, Kenya, 10 in Nairobi, Kenya, three in Sierra Leone, West Africa, 13 in Johannesburg, South Africa, 
two in Port Elizabeth, South Africa, three in New Spirit, South Africa, seven in Cape Town, South Africa, five in Durban, South Africa, five in Port Stepstone, South Africa, five in Victoria West, South Africa. This is a two-week report, 464. That is a blessing. For more information regarding the upcoming baptism that's on a uh, calendar, you can visit us at www.truthofgod.com. Again, www.truthofgod.com. We also, before I forget, you want to remember Brother Stewart's family. He did pass away last night, so keep his family in your prayers from the Del Mar Temple. At this time, we're going to turn it over to the Mass Choir.
Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Let's give them another hand clap. We thank God much for everything that went up so far. At this time, we're going to turn it over to our media director, Elder Dan Thompson. All right, saints, all right. Scripture says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. We certainly want to do that. Here again, we say peace be unto you. We thank God again for blessing us to be back in the house of prayer another time. As always, we give God the highest due praise and due honor. Uh, we thank him so much for blessing us all to still be alive. Still be alive. And have a chance to offer praise and glory to him and to acknowledge him. Uh, we thank him so much for the gathering of God's people here today. Uh, this, as you know, is another celebration of God and the gathering of God's people together. Our 28th uh, youth convocation, 35th, I do believe, uh, radio broadcast anniversary and the 26th telecast anniversary. We thank God for all of these milestones and God alone has made it possible. Uh, we praise and thank our God. We thank him always, certainly, for the way of holiness which you all are striving to walk in uh, after the singing and the shouting's over. It's still going to come down to the word. Is that right? Still going to come down to the word and not just the word, but obedience to what God said do. The singing and dancing is part of what he said to do, but there's other parts too. Is that right? And we certainly give due respect to all the deceased brethren, to the apostles or to the prophets and to the apostles. We thank God for all of them. We give due respect to our dearly beloved brother and pastor, Pastor Jennings. As you know, it's 40 years since God has put him to work. <laughs> 40 years since God has put Pastor Jennings to work, and we certainly want to continue to work along with the vision that God has given him. Uh, we thank God so much for all the ministering brethren, likewise, that have come from far and from near. Uh, when we say far, we mean far. Uh, thank God for Minister Mars and those that have traveled from Australia and other places in the South Pacific. Uh, those from Europe, from Canada, and from other parts of the world, we thank God for those who are here. And certainly there's many who desire to be here that are not able to. Uh, but while we're here, we certainly want to give God the praise and do regard as do him. Uh, I don't know if we have time to go to any of the brethren. Yes. We're going to call upon just two brothers, uh, given the time uh, is running short. Uh, our secretary of all the ministers, Minister Eldridge. <laughs> Minister Eldridge here. We say greetings to everyone. We certainly do greet you in the mighty and the matchless name of the one God, Jesus Christ. We thank him for the prophets and apostles, and certainly to our present day leader and apostle, we thank God for him, Pastor Gino Jennings, and to all the ministers and all you brothers and sisters that are gathered here today in the house of God. We thank God for his goodness and his mercy. We thank the Lord for bringing us into fellowship again, that we can praise and glorify his name in the truth. That's a blessing. And as I often do wherever I go, I want to thank God for placing Pastor Jennings in my life because I have been blessed of the Lord through Pastor Gino Jennings. And I'm not telling you something that I'm repeating from somebody else. I'm telling you something that I have lived and am currently living right now. And so I do not want to ever discredit anything that he has done for me and the work that he allows me to participate in in care of him. And I thank Pastor Jennings for his vision and for his leadership. And I thank God for the message that I have been listening to him since 1998. And this has been a consistent message from the first day that I heard it. 
And I believe that's why all of us are here today because of the consistency and God literally using him. Not everyone can say that they're in a place where God has chosen someone to lead people. And so I believe in leadership. I believe in submitting to leadership. And I'm asking the saints to do all in your power to be faithful in your work and in your service to the Lord because God could choose somebody else rather than you. But we see our calling as it relates to salvation and the Lord bringing us here. And again, I love you all, and there's nothing you can do about that. Peace be. Thank God for our minister of, of uh, the secretary of all the ministers, of those who don't know, and the minister Etheridge is the one that communicates much with all the ministers uh, when many of you are perhaps asleep. But we thank God for his work and certainly for the contribution to the work of the Lord. We're going to ask one other brother to come up and give a few remarks uh, before we pass it over to Pastor Jennings. Uh, Minister Abraham Avilis from the state of Florida. sisters. Uh, it's, it's good to be in the wicked city of Philadelphia. Uh, I, had to, I had to leave the comfort of God's country to come to this nasty place. Sissy land. Y'all got some sissies here, Pastor. I mean, that stuff, that's, that stuff is running everywhere. That's sad, but it is everywhere. And we thank God for giving us the opportunity to be here one more time. Uh, since the last time I was here, um, my mother had passed away. Um, and when you love much, you, you hurt much. Um, I'm still dealing with some of that and asking God to help me to deal with it. Um, but, <laughs> But God is good. God is good. I would say if he would have left me to live with her for a thousand years, it still wouldn't be enough time. So I thank God for the days that he did keep us together. Um, I want to honor Pastor Jennings for such a hard work. You know, when I first met him, there was no such thing as YouTube or television. We used to wake up at 12 o'clock to catch him on the radio station. And uh, sometimes we would even put the alarm clock to make sure that we wake up to listen to the radio Wonderful. and then Wonderful. listen to him for 30 minutes and go back to sleep. You know, cause the truth is always, they're always gonna give us some jacked up times. They can't give us, you know what I mean? They couldn't, they couldn't give us Sunday, eight o'clock, you know, that was the false prophet's time, so. <laughs> <laughs> They'll let you get on the radio, but you're going to be at midnight, 2 o'clock in the morning, or something like that, you know. But I thank God for his dedication. And when I first met Pastor Jennings, you know, I, I'm sitting in the front. And I'm waiting for the preacher to show up, you know. There he comes, walking in the middle of the aisle with his hat in, in his hand. And William, William was not with him that day. I don't know where Williams was, but he showed up. And, sit on the little chair in the pulpit. And ever since then, you know, he, he would sit there and rub his face. And I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, man, this preacher ain't going to say nothing. He's falling asleep. <laughs> but but you, see how, you see how quiet he is all the time. So he sits there and he's just rubbing his face and Meditating, I'm thinking, man, I don't know what I've got myself into here. <laughs> anyway, they gave him, they gave him that time, that time was up. And man, when that man got up in the pulpit and he stopped speaking. Yeah. I knew then, I knew then my answer was, my, 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 that, listen, for many years, I had prayed to God, and I would even complain to God, and I would tell the Lord, Lord, I can read in the scripture where you say you are building yourself a church without a spot or wrinkle. All I'm asking you to do is show me where this place is. 
I don't care if it's on the other side of the world. I will go to, I will go to it. I just want you to show it to me because I know you can't lie. So you're not lying, and I'm, not, I'm just saying you, you show me where this place is on who's doing it with you so that I can go to work. I'm, I want to work for you, Lord, but I, I don't want my work to be in vain. I want to make sure that if, where, wherever I put my foot in there, I see your footprint first. That way I know I'm stepping in solid ground and I'm not sinking. And it took seven years for that to happen when I first met him and Pastor Jennings got up there and the first message he preached was women preachers in the church. <laughs> and right then I say, hoorah! <laughs> I found him. I said, the Lord has shown me I found him. That's what I found him. I knew it was him. I knew it was him. And I just, uh, I just thank God because through the many trials and tribulations, my ups and downs, and sometimes even people say, I think Mr. David, I'm going to quit. Where do you think I'm going? I'm just saying, I'm just saying where should we go? What, 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 is, the, what is the alternative? Where is our alternative? I mean, you show it to me. Because we have, we have traveled the world and we have not found. Listen, we have entire countries. Entire countries where there's not a single righteous preacher. Entire countries. Where it's not a single man crying out for the Lord. So you tell me, where, where should we go? That we can actually say, we walk in where the Lord has appointed us to be. There is no, there is no place like this. You're not going to find it. You got a lot of imitators. <laughs> a lot of imitators. But you can't imitate God. God has appointed Pastor Jennings to do a work. And I can tell you, I can tell you last night, I seen the fulfillment, I seen the fulfillment of a prophecy that was given for the church around the world. And God gave it to a brother. The brother passed it on to the right, to the right person. Because when a prophecy comes for the world, he's not going to give it to me. Because he didn't send me to the world. But he's going to give it to Pastor Jennings. And he's going to stir him up. And Pastor Jennings, that message you preached last night, it was a message that came from God to the world. To the world. And that message last night was beyond First Church. Because you got people all over the world looking for the Holy Ghost. I can tell you, God will give you the Holy Ghost said, no matter where you are. And then the Bible says when the spirit of truth will come, he will guide you to the truth. He can give it to you in the Baptist church. He can give it to you in the Methodist church. And then go and grab you from there and bring you to the truth. He will bring you to the truth. One thing I can tell you, when the Lord brings you to the truth, no one can take you away from it. You are rooted in it. You are planted by God in the truth, and nobody can take you from it. Your daddy can't take you from it. Your mama can't take you from it. Your daughters and, and brothers and sisters, your family members, the people that you love the most, they still cannot take you from it. Now to everybody who's sick in the Holy Ghost, get to it. Because I'm telling you, if you don't have it, you don't have no clue what you're missing. The Holy Ghost will bring to you a satisfaction that you cannot find on nothing else. On nothing else. The, the Holy Ghost brings more pleasure than a woman. 
The Holy Ghost brings pleasure that drugs cannot bring. The Holy Ghost brings a pleasure that money can buy. The Holy Ghost brings pleasure and satisfaction that the world cannot give you. Let's get to it. You'll pray for you, brother. <laughs> pray for me. It was nice seeing you. I'm fired up. I'm ready to go to work. And listen, I know that message yesterday. I soaked it in. It, even I could not even rejoice because I wanted to listen to every word he said. But all I can tell you, Pastor Jennings, I'm going back to Florida, and I'm going to stir people up about his Holy Ghost. God, God be my helper. God be my, God be my helper everywhere I step foot. I'm going to push that church to go after that Holy Ghost, my Lord, because we're running out of time, and the time is up. We got to get to it. Thank God for you, Pastor Jim. Good, strong, wholesome words. All right, God, we thank God, certainly for Brother Avilis from uh, the state of Florida. Uh, we're so needful of the help everywhere. Is that right? We thank God, saints of God, the more you come in contact with God's word, you'll see what God is doing. You know, many times you can't see ahead of you, but if you just take a chance to look back, You'll see, like the song said, that God has brought us from a long way. Long way. And you can appreciate what God has brought us from. Everybody has a story. Is that right? Everybody has a story. Very quickly, I'll just let you know, there's many years ago, I uh, desired to be in something like this. And I uh, mentioned the past some years ago. There was a picture that was hanging in an old saint's home back in the 1980s, early 1980s, that I had seen. It was a picture of uh, Bishop S.C. E. Johnson, and those of you who are familiar with his ministry. But it had a picture that looked just like this one, exactly like it. And I looked at that picture, and I, I, I longed to be in a congregation like that. I longed for it. And God knew my desire, and it has come to pass. Come right to pass. For those who don't know, this is, again, the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. Our address is 5105 North 5th Street in the city of Philadelphia here in Pennsylvania in the United States of America, where the Apostle Pastor Gino Jennings is our leader, teacher, guide, and he is our general overseer. Without further ado, we're going to present to our leader, teacher, guide, messenger of the Almighty God, the Apostle Pastor Gino Jennings. 